He painted a vivid picture of how a trans-Arctic hydrogen balloon expedition was not only doable, but would be revolutionary for travel. He explained that the Svea was smaller and less capable than the balloon he needed to pull it off, but that a balloon big enough was already able to be manufactured. Leakage was also a concern, but according to Andre, one French balloon already in production was so airtight that it lost almost no hydrogen in a year. In addition, Andre claimed that the summer weather in the Arctic was perfect for ballooning. The round-the-clock sun would facilitate scientific observation and eliminate the need for them to anchor at night. In addition to that, his revolutionary drag rope steering technique would allow him and the crew to navigate easily, especially in the Arctic landscape where there would be minimal vegetation for the ropes to snag on. In the end, enough people were convinced, and the Royal Swedish Academy approved Andre's 130,000 kroner proposal, which is roughly equivalent to $1 million US in today's money. In fact, at the peak of this excitement, Sweden's King Oscar II even donated 30,000 kroner from his personal fortune.